Dark Samus and Palutena. Requiem going up against DTR. Didn't see the stage, but I feel like, I don't know, is this a PS2 type of matchup? Three, no, Town and City. One, go. Okay. Yo, Neo, do you mean, uh, match AG? I can check on it real quick. Is that, is, is that the one you're- the, the, are you talking about the, uh, what, Winner's Round 3 matchup, I think? Let me, let me check. I think they're in the middle of game three. So I think they had lag issues. And oh, Florida to California connection. Alrighty. Well, Mirage said, yep. I assume they're playing it out. Don't I see the bracket? AG. Oh, wait, you mean AG? Yeah, AG, yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Okay, Narnia and Mirage. I, I guess they had lag issues, but it's it's sorted out. Oh, they're they're playing it out, I guess. Not really sure what happened. Didn't get like a mod call for it. Granted, I haven't like half the time I don't even get mod requests on like the Google Chrome. I know it's supposed to like pop up sometimes if somebody requests one. This website's weird. But anywho, to the match. Uh, Requiem and DTR both had two stocks apiece. I. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention, I was looking at brackets, so I'm not sure how we got here. But, uh, DTR with a slight lead. Granted, you know, I was gonna say, it doesn't really mean too much against, uh, you know, Dark Samus with Charge Shot. You know, that's, that's such a good projectile. Ooh! Nice tether cancel to the back air by Requiem to take that first stock. Like, that's the whole thing. Uh, obviously, Politana can reflect, uh, Charge Shot. But, you know, if Requiem does it at, like, an unreactable range, like, you know, close up or mid-range, or if he, you know, tries to cross him up with it, he can just get so much off of it. I know a lot of Samuses will look for, like, dash attack, maybe even, like, a back air sometimes. I think that does, what, like, 50 or so? Anywho, but yeah, Requiem, you know, just, you know, using those projectiles to, you know, keep pushing DTR off of him. Sitting at 157, though. He really can't get hit by, like, a back air. Even Explosive Flame, yeah. Tried to spot dodge it there and just barely getting clipped by it. That being said, Palutena, you know, definitely able to make bring this back. All it really takes is, you know, like, one, two good strings. Ooh! Requiem tried to catch him with that, uh, you know, dropping off the platform charge shot. DTR just barely able to air dodge through. And he's just kind of getting taken side to side here, from one ledge to another. He's going to have to do a lot of work to try and get in through Requiem zoning. You see the high recovery going to get punished by an up air. Ooh. Granted, that being said, Palutena very easily, <laughs> you know, able to close deficits as we see. Just, you know, a couple of hits. Almost killed Requiem off the top. Oh, wow. I've never seen an F-tilt kill screen. I've also never seen it. Did that two frame? I don't know if Requiem tried to hold uh, up B down a ledge, but DTR almost bringing it back. Requiem able to get the kill with up B though. Take game one. Wow. Yeah, no, I don't know. Can Palu F tilt? I don't know if Palu's F tilt two frames. But, uh. Yeah, DTR almost mounted a, a comeback there. Down almost a full stock. That's the thing. Palutena is just so explosive with her advantage state. Uh, looks like they're just gonna be running it right back. 
That's what it looks like. I'm assuming so. Uh, I I think Palutena. I know. I don't. Does I don't know if Palo has bad stages. Against certain characters, it can two frame if one doesn't snap. It. Yeah, yeah. I thought it looked like Requiem uh, just did up B, and he just clipped past ledge, and it, you know lost the trade. But, uh, good stuff by Requiem able to, to to close out that first game. So we back on Town and City. <laughs> I'm assuming both. You know, I don't think any either character has anything against this stage. And we see Requiem with an early lead, but. You know, small percent leads don't matter much to Politano, because it only really takes one good neutral win to even it back up. Ooh, that was interesting. Charge shot jab to back air by Requiem. Ooh! Able to trap DTR at ledge with the bombs and kill that, you know, finish that first stock with the back air. So, you know, now Requiem up a stock. Has fully charged charge shot too. So, DTR definitely gonna have to be careful about that. Ooh. Wastes it at ledge, forced to re-grab afterwards, and gets hit by down tilt back air. So now it's, you know, two stocks apiece. Ooh, okay. Requiem tried to go for, uh, whatchamacallit, charge shot to put to grab. And then, I don't know if he expected charge shot to send further, or if grab just, you know, he grabbed the wrong leg. But DTR with a big punish there. You know, Requiem got taken from, what, 0 to 50, just like that. It's been very back and forth for the most part. You see, ooh, DTR. Catching Requiem a couple of times. Ooh, oh yeah, he's supposed to flame like that. I know a lot of Palutena's will do it. Because, you know, whenever you're playing against Palutena, you expect to, to get hit a lot by up air. Whenever, you know, because it's their best juggling tool. But, uh, if... Palutena can catch you drifting back, or like, you know, like a panic air dodge, and you air dodge into that explosive flame, it'll definitely also kill. Uh, Requiem now at 135. Yeah. Any good explosive flame back air will probably kill. Okay. Oh, Raz, your opponent wants to DQ? Okay. I'll DQ him for you. I got it. Or Narnia DQing. Alright, cool. Alright, yeah, Raz, your your uh, set uh, against Neo will just be up whenever this one's over. As we see here, back to an even game. <laughs> Once again I wasn't look really looking. Uh, DTR with the slight lead. It's just, you know, very I think scary going up against Palutena, no matter who you play, just because of how well, you know, she can oppress others. Uh, Requiem's done a very good job, in my opinion, though, with how he uses a lot of his options. We see him constantly, you know, mixing up between, like, you know, using Zare to space, or throwing out Charge Shot, or even just, like, you know, Nair or Forward Air. I think for a lot of Samus's, their biggest downfall is that Charge Shot is kind of over-centralizing. Right, because it's a very good projectile, does a lot of damage, you can get follow-ups and it kills. But if you, you know, if you become really linear with how you use it, and your opponent can read that, or they, you know, just know how to avoid it, then, you know, it becomes a lot easier to, to deal with you in neutral. Uh, Requiem now, at 154, he really, you know, one good hit by DTR probably should close it out. But, uh, ooh, yeah, dash attack? Got a kill off the side by Requiem. Able to get back on stage with that tether mix-up, that was nice. I've actually seen him do that a couple of times, where he, like, tethers, and then he cancels it from snapping the ledge to go high, and then tries to punish Requiem for, uh, whatchamacallit, for, uh, like, uh, standing near ledge to try an edge guard. So now Requiem up 2-0 on DTR. Uh, I I don't think we're gonna see a stage pick. I mean a stage. I mean not a stage switch. A, a character switch from DTR because both of these games have been very close. Uh,
I know he's he has gone a couple of other characters. He used Joker and Snake earlier in bracket. Uh, but I'm not sure if either of them do better than uh, Palutena. Well, and I, I guess uh, DTR agrees with that too, as we see sticking with Palu for this third game. I mean, both of them have basically, you know, basically been last hit. Uh, Three, two, one, so now go. the stage is going to be Kalos. It's interesting. I guess DTR, you know, is fine with having the long flat part. He doesn't really want the platforms to interrupt. I do know a lot of zoners tend to like, you know, Kalos and Epi, like the big long stages, and obviously Samus, you know, more of a, a zoner in terms of archetype. Then Palu, that was a nice downer by DTR to catch Requiem uh, trying to tether. And yeah, that that's the thing about tethers. Obviously, you know, you can use them to stall out and avoid two frames. You know, in this case, Palu's down tilt, but... If they know where you're going, like they know where you're going to drift to and they throw out a hitbox, it's going to beat out your tether every time. So now DTR up a full stock. Uh, you know, and it's on Kalos too, so... Requiem gonna have to do just a little more to try and get that kill, because of the bigger blast zones. Maybe that was his thought process on it. Maybe it was, oh, you know, I, I want to live a little longer and have all this space to work around uh, Requiem zoning. So I'm gonna pick Kalos to so see a nice jab, dash back, charge shot. I think that was the sequence by Requiem to take that first stock. Uh, sitting at 100% though. So, he's, you know, on the brink of almost dying. DTR gonna catch his drift in with, uh, with an explosive flame to take the second stock, and now, now he is up a full stock for sure. Here comes the, the Palu combo. Tried to maybe catch him off stage with a downer for, uh, in case Requiem went low, but... Yeah, he's just all over him this game. I think that first stock definitely helped, too, in terms of just shifting momentum his way. Yeah, no, uh, Requiem offstage at 80% now, down a stock, not a position you want to be in, especially as a zoner, because, uh, you know, obviously Dark Samus, very good, you know, still has very good, you know, boxing tools and, you know, stuff to uh, approach with, but <laughs> whenever you're forced to constantly be up and close and interact with a character like Palu, it's very risky, because if you mess up, then you get blown up for it. As you see, a nice up air by DTR. Uh, able to, you know, very, you know, strongly take that game three. I don't know if strong is it dominant, you know, a dominant game three. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Commentary is hard. <laughs> yeah, Curse, you said it best. DTR woke up, possibly? You know, just, you know, just a lot more tighter with how he edge guarded. And you know, caught uh, Requiem landing and whatnot. So, not gonna be a 3 0 today. Uh, DTR are gonna look to try and make this reverse 3 0, uh, which is definitely doable. Like I said, those first two games were very close. The only hard part is the fact that, uh, you know, in order to win three games in a row, you have to play your opponent's counterpick twice. And I'm not sure if Requiem's gonna want to go to back to Kalos after that first game. I mean, after that last game. Three, yep. Okay. PS2. One, I know that's a, that's another good stage. That Samus has. I'm not sure if Samus has like really bad stages. Maybe Smashville. Maybe like the smaller stages, right? But uh, yeah, Requiem with a nice start. You know, able to tack on 60%. You know from one neutral win, but, <laughs> you know, unless you're, you know, basically taking them to, like, 80 or 90, Politana can match that very easily, as we see, uh, DTR able to do just that with just a couple of combos, and now he has the percent lead, both starting to, you know, inch towards kill percent, that being said, uh, DTR at 123, he can't eat a, he can't eat a charge shot, something I think I'd like to see him do is, if he can maybe call out whenever Requiem's about to use one and reflects it, 
that would definitely help him, because that kills, you know, very early. Oh, he almost got the, uh, the get-up attack with the, with the back air. Able to catch Requiem's Drift in with an up air, but just barely not killing. Up smash will. And DTR taking the first stock. I guess he's kind of more so figured out Requiem's game plan. In terms of, oh, how does Requiem approach? How is he, you know, recovering? How is he using charge shot and uh, bombs and whatnot? Ooh, and there's the counter, yeah. As you see, he kind of threw it out preemptively there, predicting that uh, Requiem would throw it out then. It's kind of hard to do. Uh, especially online, because you have less time to react to it. But if DTR is able to, like, you know, see it coming from about, like, you know, around half screen or so, and then he throws out the counter, we'll definitely be able to reflect it right back. And that's not to say Requiem can't, you know, shield and return, but... A lot of people, if you do, if you time it right, like, if you're in the right position, and, oh, you know, a lot of Samus players just have a hard time kind of reacting back, I suppose. <laughs> As we see, DTR using Explosive Flame to take out Requiem's, uh... Second stock, and here comes the Palu combo. Yep. As you see, Requiem gonna eat a quick 40. You know, down a stock too. That's you know, very scary. Because now he backed up in a corner by against DTR. I think he's, he's trying to play a little more reactive, uh, or I guess a little more like you know aware of how Requiem's been using Charge Shot. As we've seen, he's spot dodged through it, he's rolled through it a couple of times. He's tried to, uh, um, tried to counter it a couple as well, but he's just, you know, all, you know, it doesn't really matter if he gets the counter or not right now, because Requiem is at 123. Uh, <laughs> obviously, you know, very much so at kill percent. You see DTR going deep, not able to get it, and Neutral gets up into charge shot this is still doable but I mean Requiem is sitting at 145 he, you know I think either one of the shield moves will probably kill here like the back air yep gonna beat out Requiem's up air and DTR all of a sudden evens it up two games apiece He's, I mean, he's done a great job adapting over the course of the past couple of games. And just, you know, seeing his shift in his game plan from trying to sit back and, I guess, more zone as well with Samus, and not being able to handle the approaches and, you know, like the charge shots that Requiem has been doing, to, oh, I can avoid it by doing this and that, or, oh, I can catch his approaches with this move and that. Uh, it's definitely helped him out a lot, as we're going to game five now. Um... Not sure what stage Requiem is going to want. I doubt there's going to be a character switch. Because uh, I I think Requiem might be a solo Dark Samus. Yeah, okay. So it's still going to be Dark Samus, Palu. It's going to be interesting to see the stage. Like I said before, Requiem getting you know back-to-back -back games of his counterpick. FD gonna be the stage choice this time. Another flat stage, this time with no platforms. So you don't have anywhere to retreat, you know. If you're forced to land and Requiem can call it out with a charge shot, unless you, you know, like air dodge past it, or in this case I guess reflect it, then you're gonna have to eat it. You know. I think that's just gonna be the big thing this game too. How Requiem uh, catches DTR's landings. He's out to a slight lead now. But, you know, it works both ways, too, I was about to say. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword. Ooh, nice recovery by DTR to get around uh, Requiem's ledge trapping with bombs. But yeah, in the same way that, you know, Samus is going to want to use the stage to catch, uh, you know, Palu's landings. It's going to, you know, the same way it's going to work for Palu. Because Palu can, you know, definitely get early kills off of juggling. Whether it's explosive flame or up air. Or even sometimes back air, if you're close enough to ledge. This is definitely a very close game. 
Yeah, no, like I said, you know, they're, you know, both definitely at kill percent. But just like that, ooh, Requiem narrowly avoiding the explosive flame. Gonna get hit by down throw. I'm surprised DTR didn't do like a forward throw or back throw to get him off stage. Because, you, you know, once you're at that high percent, probably loses her, uh, her down throw confirm. Back throw, though. Yeah, run up back throw. DTR taking that first stock. He is at 154, though, so... Any, you know, strong move would probably kill. Forward air almost killing from mid-stage there. Ooh. That's interesting. DTR was able to get past the, uh, the bomb ledge trap, but... He was forced to shield that charge shot, and then Requiem did what, like, jab one, turn around, grab? <laughs> like I said, like, his mix-ups have just been very good. With the options he's using. Did Paulu Fair just clank? With with charge shot? That, it looked like it just clanked. That's weird. Huh. But yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's another thing, too. If DTR can call out Re uh, Requiem charging. Uh, what? What was it? Charge shot? <laughs> auto reticle can He can use auto reticle and react and punish. I don't know if it... I think auto reticle Like, I think if Samus is charging it, she just, uh... Oh, yeah. Explosive Flame gonna finally catch Requiem off the side. DTR with a commanding lead now. Looking for that reverse 3-0. Yeah, I think if Cham Samus is charging charge shot and she gets interrupted, it just restarts. That's what it looks like. I don't remember. But yeah, no, DTR only sitting at 115. Uh, Requiem definitely gonna have to do a lot of work here. Now without a double jump, gonna be forced to land. Ooh, able to air dodge back. He needs to get the stock off, you know, pretty soon. Ooh, nice parry punish by DTR. Able to catch Requiem in the air again, like I said. Gonna have to try and land, able to do it. Oh, he spot dodged and probably down tilt, still gonna catch him. Requiem is at 108. It's almost at even percents, but... There we go. Charge shot. I'm gonna take DTR's second stock. So now... And now it becomes a matter of, you know, not dying. Requiem, I'm gonna have to try and make this full stock comeback. Whether it's with, like, a down air. He's definitely gonna want to use charge shot, right? Because that deals a lot of percent. But he can't get hit by anything. Jumps into the back air. And DTR... Able to, final, you know, able to get the reverse 3-0. And move on to winner's finals.